Good morning, Hopkinton High School. I'm Chris Pomeroy, and welcome to the April 7th episode of HHS Today. First, we start with an update on the girls' robotics team. My name is Prima Sherma, and I'm in 11th grade. My name is Priya Hegde, and I'm in 9th grade. What we're trying to do is we're trying to promote the girls' robotics team here at HHS. We're starting up a new VEX robotics program here at Hopkinton High School next year, and we will have one mixed after-school team, one girls' after-school team, and we'll have four classroom teams. So what are you guys trying to accomplish with this girls robotics team? Well, we've noticed that like there's sort of a lack of women in the robotics fields and we want to try to increase that. One of the initiatives initially is to start out and get more girls involved in STEM here at the school, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. And then we're also going to be hosting a girls robotics day on April 14th. And where is this going to be held? This will be in the C-Wing in room C-206 and 207, and there will be food, mentors, and games, so you all should come. It's going to be fun. <laughs> be sure to mark your calendars for April 14th for the meeting, and if you have any questions, see Mr. Scott. Next up, some information on Relay for Life. Hi, I'm Olivia Swar, and I'm a junior at the high school. Hi, I'm Kate Schweikert, and I'm a senior. I'm Cameron Boyce, and I'm a junior, and we're all chairs for Relay for Life. Relay for Life is an event put on by the American Cancer Society to fundraise to, for cancer research and we all basically just want to get rid of cancer. The goal is to just fundraise as much as possible and have fun while doing it. The event is on Friday, May 13th from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. the next day. People can get involved just by coming to the event or they can register at www.relayforlife.org slash HopkintonMA. It takes place at the Hopkins High School track, and there are fundraisers throughout the year, so be on the lookout for those, too. Get those teams going now, and start fundraising for this great cause. Coming up next is our regular segment, The Five Second Interview. This week's question is, what would you change for the next East Dress Week? We think we should have outside, outside class. classes. No school, just a week of no school. I want a visit from the ice cream man. Uh, free food. We should actually have no homework. And I second that. Free food. What do you guys think of that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'd have no homework. Um, if I could add anything to the next de-stress week, I would add time outside. If I could add anything, I would add free snacks in the hallway in between classes. <laughs> if I could change anything about more, <coughs> I mean, de-stress week, it would be don't make it before MCAS. In other news, Student Council is holding a Pillow Polo tournament, and sign-ups will take place during lunch all next week. Lastly, check out our brand new Instagram account, as well as our Facebook page, for updates and sneak peeks. And share your experiences at Hopkinton High School. To wrap up the show, we have Have You Seen This? Last week's was tough, and three people found the image, which was part of a date on a mural in the Sea Wing. Congratulations to Tom and to Adam and Zach, who took it to the next level and took a selfie at the location. All three of you can stop by the main office and choose your prize from a delicious selection held by Miss Moodhart. Here's this week's photo. Have you seen this? Send us an email at hhstv at hillers.org by Tuesday, April 26th for your chance to win. That's all for this week, folks. See you after vacation.